All right, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, former NFL and NFL defensive back here, Eric Crocker. And today, man, we're going to get into the art of getting in phase and talk about what that means, what happens when you're not in phase, and just different techniques you have to play down the field on vertical shots. So keep it locked right here and make sure if you're not already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos like this and much, much more. All right, so what does it mean to get in phase? And a lot of times I just like to look at it as the act of having a receiver controlled, all right? So, you know, a lot of times you'll hear this term thrown out on vertical shots, right? Like vertical shots down the sideline. Oh, the corner was in phase or he wasn't in phase. All right, and typically when you are in phase, you have the receiver controlled, pinned to the sideline. And if you do it early enough in route, you'll be able to get your head around and potentially make a play on the ball. Now that is the ideal way for things to work out, but it's not how it always happens. Now, I hear fans and, and I hear their frustrations. Get your head around, get your head around. But you are playing against elite athletes. And you know, a lot of times they show the replay when a guy doesn't get his head around or if a guy does get beat, but there are plenty of times where the ball isn't thrown that way, where guys do everything perfectly fine and you just don't see that rep. So what do you do when you're out of phase? All right, now, typically, and this is gonna happen, again, you're playing against elite athletes. If you are out of phase, you wanna work to play through the hands. You do not wanna panic. You wanna chase that number, chase that back until you can get in position. And once you see those hands flash, you wanna strike through the hands with violence, play through the hands to either distract the receiver and make him drop it on his own, or pull one of the hands away, punch at the ball, whatever you have to do, but you don't want to look back because the moment you look back, when you're not in phase, the separation happens, all right? Then now what may have been a, a one or two yard uh, separation difference between the receiver and the defensive back, it turns into four or five yards because you look too early. And there's a saying I like to say to a lot of my young athletes, man, you run faster looking straight ahead than you do looking back, all right? So just knowing that if you are beat, if there's, one a wise coach once told me if there's space you must chase all right once there's space chase look to play through the hands downfield break that bread basket with violent hands all right now what, what can happen if you are not in the phase and you look back all right and you'll see an example here with eric stokes jr rookie out of georgia and deandre hopkins i don't even know if De deandre hopkins did this on purpose it looked like maybe he lost the ball in the lights but not having the receiver controlled and looking back to see if you can potentially make a play on the ball, you will lose track of the receiver. So you don't want to get your head around too soon because this right here can happen. Now, the other aspect of, you know, especially if you see a guy not get his head around, a lot of times it's because, well, he's playing chest to chest. If you are playing, playing against certain receivers or quarterbacks or certain duos, Sometimes they have like this rhythm down to where they will throw that back shoulder ball. So if the defensive back is even with him, they will look to throw that back shoulder to get the receiver away from the defender. All right, so in the case of that, you want to play chest to chest and look through the receiver. You'll see it a lot of times with DeAndre Hopkins and Aaron Rodgers. All right, now, most of the time, you'll see this technique used in the red zone, but in the open field against some of these teams, if the corner is in good relationship with the receiver, you'll see that back shoulder throw. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video, man. I just wanted to come on and, you know, hopefully bring some understanding to the art of the cornerback. And it's a very difficult position. You are not always gonna be in position to be able to make a play on the ball, but using the right technique and not getting your head around at times will possibly save a big play.